even with like <laughs> cryptocurrencies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we all knew it was coming. We talked about refinance in one of my previous videos. I just wanted to do an update on that because I'm getting ever more bullish on this project. And I did say I would do a follow up video on this. And I've also been watching a few other people's videos on this as well. Watching videos is always a motivating factor sometimes. When you say something about certain projects, it's always good to look and see whether other people are talking about it and saying the same kind of things that you're saying. So for me, you know, there's been a, definitely a lot of positive feedback in terms of what this project is all about and the expectations of this. Now, some people are saying like 50x, 20x, uh, even 100x. You know, for me, I never do price predictions, but this one definitely has some long-term potential, in my opinion, and I'm excited about where this can take me. So I've put quite a lot of money into this. In the previous video, I did put um, a very small investment um, into refinance from uh, the money that I actually got from the one inch airdrop. Okay, I sold my one inch tokens and I actually bought Reef with it and I've actually put a lot more into Reef now to top that bag up. Um, we've seen the altcoins dropping over the last 24 hours um, and uh, you know, I think it's just a time to take advantage of the low prices and for me personally Reef Finance is definitely one that I've took the opportunity and getting in while it's on a bit of a dip. The previous high over here, we see it around just over five cents. Okay, so now I've actually bought some more in this range over here. And not only that, but of course you can see that I've got a descending triangle or falling wedge, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's basically, um, looks like it's getting ready to break out. Okay, um, of course it's not got the breakout yet. If you were trading a breakout literally if you were just trading a breakout you would wait for a candle body to close above this level at least on the one hour and preferably the four hour but for me um you know i'll talk my position early and hopefully we'll get the breakout and if we do get a bit more of a dip i would just like dollar cost average in to some more reef tokens um as time goes by maybe like a week apart buy a little bit more reef and you know that's my strategy going forward unless my mind changes uh, between now and then okay so a few bullish signs on this on this chart i want to have a quick look at and uh one of them uh, is the fact i can see this double bottom here to me that's like a double bottom let's just change the color of that so you guys can see it okay nice double bottom there um on this let's just get just do that okay double bottom formation which of course is bullish but obviously this is on the short time frame it's on the one hour okay so a double bottom so it looks like we could potentially see a reversal here with the triangle the downward uh, this downward sloping resistance if we get a break from that hopefully we'll see some volume come in and take that a little bit higher okay in the short term um, another thing that I can actually see is a, 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 a nice trend line. Okay, we are bouncing off this trend line. Let's just draw that. Okay, I would expect it to follow this trajectory. Let's just draw that, see how neat we can get that. Okay, so we've got one trend line there, but obviously as it bounces higher, you adjust your trend lines. Okay, so we could say we've got a trend line Sort of like a trend line going like that. Okay, so there's there's potential, there's potential there that that could be a, a trend line. Okay, we're just having a quick look at these charts, but uh, right about now, um, it is early days. This chart is very immature, but uh, hopefully, um, as time goes by, we're going to see that continued that that continued upwards momentum for this. Um, if you type in refinance on YouTube, you'll see a lot of people talking about it a lot. Okay, you won't be in any shortage of videos on this project. Okay, so anyone coming into it, that is going to be a good sign. Okay, and there's lots of encouraging videos on this that will contribute to uh, uh, people investing. All right, that's something you always want to look out for is community. I mean, if you even if you go to their Twitter, they've got like about forty something thousand followers on Twitter. In the Telegram, they've got uh, quite a few followers as well, okay? 
So, you know, for me, that's that's bullish of 49.1K followers on Twitter. Okay, this is something that I didn't talk about uh, the other day as well, um, that they are partnering with one of the biggest blockchain ecosystems that is decentralizing the internet. And there's a competition for you to guess the partner for $50 in reef or a share of $50 in reef. I know that's not a lot. They could have uh, kind of did a little bit more about that, to be honest, uh, a little bit of a bigger prize for that. But, um, you know, uh, 962 retweets, you know, 2.8K likes. So I guess like, you know, People are still kind of kind of hyped about that, but um, yeah, Reef for me is bullish. And one of the things that I like about it, um, even more so, you know, they have a lot of investors and all that sort of stuff. Okay, um, it's built on the Polkadot um, ecosystem. Okay, and um, the fact that this this is what I like about it. So it says that Reef gets liquidity from everywhere, both central exchanges and decentralized exchanges. Okay. Now, I've never seen a project do this before. So obviously, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but they have positioned themselves in DeFi in quite a unique spot in DeFi, okay? Um, so, you know, if another project does come out with something like this, of course, Reef is always gonna have, have first mover advantage. And for me, you know, this is just bullish, you know, um, who knows whether we can see this actually on Coinbase soon. The fact that I, I don't know how it does this, you know, um, if you do know, you know, let us know in the comments if you know about a video we can look at to see exactly how it does this or anything like that. Uh, central exchanges, isolated silos and prone to hacks. Decentralized exchanges, unstable liquidity, slow and hard to use due to Ethereum's network. No integration with the DeFi e ecosystem. The yield problem is high, has a high technical barrier of entry and it's impossible to keep up with the best strategies. And there's expensive gas fees, of course, we know that. Hence why I believe that this is built on the Polkadot ecosystem. And you can actually trade this on the Binance Smart Chain as well. Okay, lower gas fees. You know, me, I am buying my reef on Binance. Okay, the fees are quite low. As opposed to, you know, um, an ERC on, on, on a Uniswap where the fees will be significantly higher. They're, they're very high even at the time of recording this video. But if you, do, if you don't want to use... Uniswap, you have the options of Binance, uh, which is bullish, you know, in itself, because, you know, for it to be on Binance, obviously, it's a Binance launch pool token, um, and, and, you know, it's, it's bullish. So we have uh, um, it also on, on a pancake swap on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, if you've not used pancake swap before, the fees are extremely cheap extremely cheap so definitely go and check that out if you prefer to do that of course if you do want to use it there are some technicals that you need to consider integrating the binance smart chain wallets into your wallet and stuff like that um it's not hard to do okay but just consider that and and you know you can find out information on how to do it. you can just literally type in on google and you'll find the instructions on how you can do that all right and there's a fragmentation problem finally DeFi activities are fragmented and painful experiences, uh, increased complexities. Now, I don't actually know what fragmentation is. If you do know what that is, let us know in the comments as well. Okay, so just quickly looking at the roadmap. Okay, uh, let's just go back a couple of spaces. So we are in Q1 still. Okay, so they've got the Binance Access Integration, the LP and Farms. Um, which you can do on the Binance Smart Chain, of course. Got the Reef Basket Engine, sorry, on Pancake Swap on the Binance Smart Chain, uh, Reef Client Yield Engine, and Fiat Gateway Integration. We've got Moonbeam Support, Plasm Support, Pooling Mechanism, Reef Basket, and Smart Asset Management. Uh, Q3, we have Reef SDK and Reef Treasury, and a mobile app and NFT baskets. We have Ethereum DeFi protocols, integrations, Reef Aggregation Layer. And analytics engine indexes okay now one thing that also interested me on refinance is the fact that KSI he's a very large youtuber for those that don't know um, you probably do know who KSI is so he's heavily invested into crypto lately okay he's been very vocal about his crypto investments and reef is actually one of the cryptos that he claims to have invested in we don't know how much or how heavy he's gone in on it but we know that ethereum and reef seem to be the top coins that he's shilling at the moment of uh, money and reef and <laughs> ethereum i'm also ksr okay and obviously he has millions and millions of followers across several channels and networks so that's definitely bullish for reef as well 
So I think that's about it guys. Just wanted to uh, do a little follow up video on this. Um, yes, I have increased my bag. Just like I said, I would. Uh, I like the fact that I see this uh, volume increasing, this accumulation volume as well. Okay, now bearing in mind, of course, if you are buying reef, you're not buying the bottom. Okay, because reef is actually from the local bottom after this significant pump over here from the local bottom it is up or, or it was up approximately 750 percent at the time of the recording of video from the bottom after the previous sell-off and accumulation phase it's still up about 523 percent but like i said a lot of people have some high expectations for refinance 10x 20x 50x even up to 100x okay and you know this was crypto, so the potential to go even beyond that is a lot. If we look at tokens like Arv, Arve, uh, which used to be called Lend, Compound, um, tokens like that. I mean, Refinance has definitely positioned itself in DeFi, you know, for lending, borrowing, all that sort of stuff. They position themselves in a great position and everybody's talking about them. So, you know, half the job is being done. This is probably without them spending much money on advertising. Imagine what happens if they ramp up advertising. Bullish, all right? Um, let me know in the comments who you think that this partner might be. Um, better still, go over onto the Twitter and let them know over there. At least then you'll get a chance of winning the $50 in Reef or, or a share of that. Okay, guys? So, yeah, I think that's about it for now. All right, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, please help me out and subscribe as well. YouTube does like to censor crypto content. So um, if you do want to catch these videos in good time, all right, guys, tick the little bell. At least then you'll, you'll be able to know when the video comes out as soon as it comes out by getting a little notification. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.